Hello everybody, here we are in SketchUp and we're gonna, you know, have some fun in it. It's not really aimed to be a tutorial, although you can follow along and slow down the video if you want to, uh, to make what I'm doing. But really, it's not, there's gonna be very little explaining. And if you have any comments, uh, questions, you can always ask them, but yeah. So let's use setup SketchUp the way I like it. Let me just go. You can see probably that I have a couple of things here that, like these two bars here, that don't look, they don't show like that in the um, default SketchUp. This is SketchUp 2015, so it's a bit dated, but yeah. All right, so let's see, I like it like that. Fuck, not really. And I remove the styles. This, this you can show, but I don't know. It's under here in window, just view, toolbars. I think you can show all this, but let's see. Styles, there you go. So no profiles. I hate that thing. I just want the lines, and sometimes I even disable them to be able to see what I'm doing correctly. And you know, SketchUp is pretty neat because with other programs, you have to like, let's say you wanted to make a hole in it, in this box, you have to make another box or maybe duplicate this one like you can here, and then probably you will have to. In some cases, you either do a boolean, which is what I'm gonna do right now, which is just subtracting one shape from the other, something like this, which this can do to SketchUp can do it too, although I don't use it too often because with more complex uh, shapes, it's, it tends to be pretty much the same as any other program. Let's see, subtract. All right, so I have to make it group, I think it was. And then I can make this a group. Maybe then I'll be able to subtract them. I don't remember exactly because that's not usually the way I do it. But yeah, here we go. See, and you will do that, and if you, maybe if you grab it the other way, you subtract it like this, and if you get rid of the edges, well, you can't really see it. Let me just add some little bit of color to it. Uh, let's see, what was it? Materials. A model, let's see. Let's do that, and then now I can see it better. And when I remove the lines, then we'll see something. So yeah, you have that hole there. Or you could probably just make the box and just subtract from it. You know, like you do like a extrude and just extrude and try to get rid of the edges and all of that, but. You know, that, that tends to, booleans don't really work that well in most programs, and if they work, they generate very poor geometry. But here, you can really, you know, you just can just go like this, and if you can tell it's snapping, so yeah, it's pretty neat that you can do that. And then you can extrude it forward, backwards, into the thing, and then you can just, you know, remove this piece if you want, and then just do this. And then you go and you don't have any, if you can see, if I make the walls transparent, you can see that I have no leftover geometry and he's like um, triangulating that. Once you go to export it, he triangulates, the program triangulates that. Of course, it's not perfect, especially in, in round things, but you know, for mechanical stuff, which is what I'm gonna do today, 
try a full run and see and get a ship is pretty neat. So yeah, let's do it like this since we started already with this. Yeah, it disappears like that. It's pretty cool. Let me put a color on it. We have this, this gray to be working on it. And I like to work with shadows because it grounds me. I used to have a way to show the ground as grass, but I don't know where the heck did it go. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Let's see like that, and then maybe we can do another something like this. Let's turn it to an object so we can handle it all like an object. This could be like an engine or something. Yeah, it could be an engine. We just modify this and then we can do like that. And then we can, you know, if we don't want everything to be square because then it kind of no. There we go, and it removes it automatically. And if you want it to be like the same, which is does this way, I have this here. And you can spin it. Or you can erase the original, or you can flip it around. Or you could always. <laughs> Do this and then and then I've mirrored that you know and then it cuts itself and you can erase these things here and then you're you're left with that and you're left with that shape yeah you can always move around on the surface then maybe we can yeah, we can push it out like that and then like this um you can see we have some caps there awesome And I'm by no means I'm not an expert on this program. This is used a lot lately because it's very entertaining to model in it. There we go, we got rid of that edge. That was annoying. It's still there, it doesn't delete them or anything, it just hides them. Alright, let's do something like this. Right now this will be like the engine. Oops. Yeah, once we start working with uh, components you have to be careful to modify them so they are in the component if you add something outside it won't add it you can add it later but it's more cumbersome so we did that there just playing with shapes so this would be like the intake we should make it look like an intake It's neat because it snaps to all the spots we need it to. Uh -huh. Come on. Let's see. Maybe we can use this instead. Perfect. And 
let's make it a heart. Hmm. I guess I can't. I have to paint it by with the other tool. Right? You can always, when it's being finicky, the snapping tool, you can always, and of course you have a bunch of different tools here you can use, but you know, it's a matter of finding what works for you. And other programs might be, you know, have more like powerful tools and all that, but the thing with uh, SketchUp is that everything is really straightforward you can figure out everything you don't have any menu or buttons hiding underneath anywhere you can always find out and even with few tools like the pencil and cushion tool you can always do something really complicated let's do this delete that Now let's do like some interleaving. Yeah, we, we can do that. It's pretty cool. If you do that. Well, actually, let me do. Yeah. So now it's working before it wasn't for some reason. this closer here so it's not to break it up a little bit and then snap delete that I join those and he closes it on his own once you and then add the color or maybe just, yeah, it would have been better just deleting it. And then we can do some lines there, like if they're going something like this, and then something like that. And then we can move it backwards. Okay. And then we have to delete the way I did it. Leaves like a like a line in, in the middle. I mean, you can scroll inside and disable this. You see, this is left in the middle. Oh, uh, here too. Yeah, sometimes you have to check with like leftover things, but not as bad as other programs. All right. And this is, of course, I mean, you can use it for building things, objects for, for them, and then making them 3D printing them, and then, or getting the measurements to make them in real, you know, in the real world. But I'm just, you know, using it to design. Maybe then later you can pass it to Photoshop and just, actually, I'm just wasting my time doing it like that. You can just duplicate them. Okay, and then here. Let's, and then we can do like maybe type x and type times four. Or if you wanted to fill a space, I mean, every, anybody that uses SketchUp's regularly knows you can find all this in any tutorial out there even in the basic tutorials that you can do for SketchUp so here and then we do divided by 4 yeah and it spreads them pretty evenly and then maybe we can do like sinking in like that so it kind of always looks a little more like an intake or something we can add like a black color to it Let's see colors black so it looks like a 
and of course later you will add like if you want to add normals and all that and on, on the program you can always export them all right so that's like an intake and you can start adding some curvature to it so it's not all Now we can go out here and do a compound arch like that. And then get rid of this one. Awesome. Perfect. And now you soften it so it's not hard. There we go. So it goes in like that and then Maybe do like a tubing, which I think we can do as well. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Awesome. I don't remember how to do that. You could snap and just move it here. But I don't remember. I was. Well, you can just do this. Alright. And then extend that. And then if we want to check for symmetry, I mean, we can just grab this, this is like that. We can just grab that, duplicate it, as soon as it's a component, just flip it. We can either flip it along, like, uh, you can see here, this is a red, it's the, it doesn't refer to the X, Y, Z, it's red and blue and green, so yeah. So we have, and then the cool thing is, since there are components, are the same component, whatever you do to this one, like this, if you do something like that, you can see that the other one has the same thing. And of course, you can always disable that if you want to. Like you can just go right click, choose make unique, and then it will be each its own thing, and you don't. Whatever you do to one, you don't do to other. The other thing that doesn't transfer is scale. I mean, you can always scale and make it huge, and it still will transfer, but it's not scale is not transferable like that. I guess there's a way to do it, but actually, I'm just looking at that. I figure maybe it look better like this. Oh wow, well. that looks much better on the side like that. Then you will you. And maybe you can put something that connects them. Let me erase it a little bit. Right now the metal is just standing for the fuselage of the ship. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe a joint there. For now it's just going to be a circle. Maybe you can just cut the circle like that. And Okay, and then just cut here and cut here. Extend it. Awesome. And then we can just do an actual circle in here.
or maybe awesome, and then got Cyanthric Seraphoa. And I again got it so to break it up, like so everything is not geometric shapes per se. Awesome. And then break it up even further by doing this maybe. And then split something like this. Right? a little bit and just move this back and delete that perfect so now you break up the surfaces a little bit you can always add more color to it, like I mean, the same red, you can put like some, well, it's too bright. Yeah, it works. And of course, you can always. I'm doing it here with geometry, but then you can always, after you move it to your preferred program like Maya or Blender or whatever, Cinema model, whatever, you can always. Once you do the UV, and you can bake the color and then the materials into a texture, and then just use that, and you can remove that geometry there. I'm just doing it, to, you know, for looks. So, yeah. All right. So here, this part, then we can make it into a component, which is the best, really. And, and I'm not naming them, but here you can go to components, and you see you have two components. But here, if you go, you can rename it. Uh, I don't know, engine. Come on. In point two is gonna be Axel or something. All right. And then the Axel will go. No. Awesome, and then we can put it over here. Actually, I'm gonna scrub it from this side so it can flush against this. Not the And then it's this when we would go and start changing the main fuselage a little bit. Actually, let's divide it in the middle so we can then mirror it. Okay. Make it good and then if you slash okay. And then we can use 
duplicate it. Flip on the red, get them together. And then what is good about this is it works like symmetry. Once I do this and here, let's say something like this, then if I make the hole, let's see, you can be left with that. And then And this is where I have this tool here. Was it this one? No. This makes true in this fashion. Which is a little bit hard to do with the built in tools, although they probably have fixed that. This to the back as well, this face. So it, uh, it can be the same we did on the front. All right. You can always do like a curvature. That works. All right. Little by little, we're getting close to something workable. Of course, let me just duplicate this. And of course, you can make components are components. You can make like, you know, engine and axle. You you, you, you combine it, and then you have the one. But once you get in here, you get one here and one here, and it's the same. Like when you duplicate it, <laughs> when you flip it. Mm -hmm. Let me just align it so it's perfectly there. Okay, to that point. So we have two engines like this. We probably want it to be a bit thinner on the back. So it's not everything is all right. Mm. And we can do the same. Or we can try something different. Let's see what this does. No, it's way too much. So there, no. Hmm. 
Oh man, alright. Okay. Maybe you can try rotating it. I don't have anything final, so we can just try and try and try. No, that's not too bad. This thing is will move like rotate. Maybe. Maybe too flat on this side, so we can add a little bit here. Right. And just Maybe cut it up so it to join those two shapes. Ooh, not that. Yeah, it could work uh, if we make them into braces. All right, maybe we grab this. Right. Yeah, we make them into braces. Make them look like a different shape for now. And right now it doesn't look too great because I mean it's, it's a plain color, but later it will, you will change the texture. Like I said, your favorite program and just make it look badass. So now there are braces, now we can just move it and do like. Uh, do that by four, no, three. Actually, two. There, that looks better. We don't want too much repetition. Or maybe we put two on one side and one on the other. That way it would break it even more. That doesn't look bad if you continue it to the back. Let me just do this and then here. Okay. I mean, like any other program, selecting is what you spend the most of time doing. Let's see if I move it downwards. No, down. Okay. All right. That's good. We can, we can break that corner there. Uh, I think I have, yeah. Let's see what happens. Uh, not bad, there needs to be a bigger. Five, yeah. All right, uh, here, 
There we go. Let's see if we have something here. Move that from there. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, it's starting to look good. I be like a reservoir or something. Oh fuck! We screwed up something on this side. Probably grab what we didn't need to grab. That's the downside of being able to grab everything. <laughs> but that's nothing, nothing major. Come on. No. Although that didn't look half bad, but uh, if we get it here, then we erase it, then we get it closer here. Uh, no, the sign is too, too, too complicated. Shit, no, you do. Awesome. <laughs> I can do the, grab this red and put it here. Well, I can. Looks purple because I have a selected and selects it. In bluish. Alright, so we're marking colors there and we're slowly getting. Maybe we can break this plane, break the shape. And then we can do something like this, and then just cut the corners. I don't want it to look like guns, it's just like a probe, so probably have to be shorter. It probably shouldn't be duplicated like that. But. Something like containers or something. Maybe we can break this top.
Do 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 a hole or, or you could get away from it. Mm, I don't know what three hole this is to sinking everything already, so hmm. maybe we can shrink this like this. I don't know. For now, we're gonna leave it here because uh, getting disconnected a lot from the stream. So, for now, we're gonna do it here. Like, let me do like another here. And, but I don't know, of course, the cop kit, the cop kit, the cop kit, cockpit, whatever. The cockpit, I will do. Later, it's probably gonna be reseated like below here, and we're doing like a loading ship. But this is the in the engines, the fuselage, and then we probably, if you want, we can go inside and start modeling the interior too. That was pretty neat. <laughs> so for now, this is the first episode. I I'll do more in the future. Hope you come back and watch them. So hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one.